Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Bill Dance Saltwater. Let me ask you something. Have you ever hooked into and tried to hang on to a big black fin tuna? If you haven't, you might want to give it a try. Our go-to guide in South Florida is Captain Jimmy Wicket. Jimmy's been fishing the waters of South Florida for more than 25 years, but his fishing career started at a very early age. <laughs> Let's just say he's come a long way from a youngster to today. Ask any avid Florida fisherman to recommend a favorite fish species to go for when they're near Miami, and they'll most likely say blackfin tuna. They're short, compact, and super strong. Fishermen who know this species are quick to tell you what they lack in size, they make up for in numbers and willingness to bite. The current world record weighed in at a little over 49 pounds. And as Jimmy says, they never give up. And boy, is he right about that. The tuna's will to live is unbelievable. Let's hop aboard and join them. Yeah, we're gonna wear them out today. Huh? We're gonna wear them fish out today. You got some few thunderheads back in there. Yeah. It's like they're moving away. That's encouraging, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Big old black fin right here, boys. Oh boy, that's good. Ooh, Big look. This is the biggest tuna I caught all year long. We get these tunas for about two weeks, Bill. The what? We get these tuna fish for about, for about two weeks, we get a solid run of them. And uh, this, this one's over 30 pounds. Pound for pound. One of the best fighters in the yeah. ocean. They're just solid, just solid muscles, huh? Solid. Huh? They are. They don't give up. You got a drag going on your reel. woo -hee! Get you some. Look at that big old fish out there. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. You want me to hold the rod for you? You want me to, what, you gonna gaff him? All right, let me get the gaff. All right, Bill, you ready with the gaff? Yeah, I'll hold the rod and you do yeah, it because you're better at it than I am. Go ahead and wait until you get him up. There you go. Get him on the lip. You got the rod? I got the rod. He's barely, barely. Huh? Woo! <laughs> what a good one. What a Grab good one. one. Nice one. Yeah, here. What a nice one. Big old black fit tuna right there, boys. What do you that, think, Bill? That's, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. You did a good job on him. Thank you. Thank you. A good job on him. Super good job on him. How much will that one weigh? It's probably about 33 pounds, 34 pounds. He is a good one. Good one. Good one, good one, good one. Proud of you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. You're next. Let's do it. You want to pop right. that hook out of there? All right. Now that one was much deeper, wasn't he? Yeah, this one's about 25 feet down or so. We got this one on a herring. So they go much deeper than the pilch. Yeah, the herring's a little bit bigger, so he's going to swim a little bit deeper. So, so you can't release this one yeah. because of the swim bladder effect? Yeah, this fish uh, has his swim bladder with uh, not popped. Like I said, he came up, so he's not going to make it back. So, so you just keep him. We're going to keep him and uh, okay. have sushi for dinner. Okay. <laughs> Pretty fish, aren't they? Boy, they are. and built for power. Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. And Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's conditions log is brought to you in part by LureLock. Their TechLogic technology locks your terminal tackles safely into place. 100% made in America. LureLock, revolutionizing the way you fish. What you're trying to do is keep that bait as close to the surface as you can. You right? want it splashing on the top, exactly. I got one here. There you go, real tight, Bill. You got him. There you go. Hooked up. I don't know what that one is. I don't think he's all that big. But he's a fish. Yeah, Bill, I think we got a big kingfish on here. Now, how do you know that's a king? Uh, just the way he took off his initial run, so uh, let's see if he proves me wrong or not. Well, he's not fighting that hard. No, he's not fighting too hard yet. They usually have that nice run, and then when they see the boat, they take off again. So we'll take a look and see. So those tuna, when they hit, they just scream away. Yeah, the tunas usually just take it and run a couple hundred yards the first run, and then uh, start laying down a little bit till they no, get next he's not up. fighting that hard. He's just pulling. Okay. I don't even know. He's, I don't even think he knows he's hooked. No, not yet. <laughs> You're doing good. You know, we're keeping the boat mostly between one and 200 feet of water. And we're about seven miles out. But just a short distance out here, maybe three miles, we're in a thousand feet of water. How far along this Florida coast out from Miami will this thousand feet run. Is this kind of unusual to have a thousand feet in this close to shore? Is this what makes this so good right in this area? Or will this thousand feet run, or how far will this thousand foot ledge run up and down through here, or the thousand foot water? Yeah, the thousand foot ledge out here, it'll run here to north of Palm Beach Inlet. And then uh, once we get north of Palm Beach Inlet, then it starts to push off a little further offshore. The further up the coast you go, the further offshore you have to go. But from uh, yeah, down here in Miami, up north of Palm Beach, the, uh, we have a nice, the reef comes in real shallow and then the Gulf Stream's in pretty close as well. So that's what makes the Miami area so good for kings and the kings for dolphins. And the, and, and the sailfish as well, they all funnel down here. A lot of the tunas, they're all funneling down here real close to the reef where the bait's all holding on the reef. So this elevation, this deep, deep water comes in, kind of swings in close to Fort Lauderdale, comes, the Miami area. It pushes in real tight and then it goes, once you get down to the Keys, it pushes back further offshore again. So yeah, it's real tight in here. It's a nice king, big king. Good king, Bill. Good kingfish. Uh-oh, he's taking drag now. Oh no, maybe it's not a kingfish. Oh no, you said it's <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I'll go with it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever it is. Look at him out there. Here he come. No, it isn't. It's a tuna. Another tuna. <laughs> you know, we he thought it was a king. Another big tuna. <laughs> Woohoo! Chicken of the sea. <laughs> How big are these fish? They, I mean, these are good size. Yeah, these they? are all 20 to 30 pound uh, blackfin tuna. Is what we've been catching the last couple hours or so here. Nice fish. Solid. Good job, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Where are you out already this morning? Boy, they're a good fight, aren't they? Oh, they are. Oh, look at that. They're a super little fish. Good eating too. Oh, delicious. There you go. How about that one, buddy? Woohoo! There he is. Big old black fin tuna. Woo! Tell him, Bill, say, get you some, right? <laughs> get you some of that, brother. <laughs> That's right. Good job, buddy. That's a nice one. We'll put him on ice. That's right. Good deal. Good job, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Today's show was sponsored in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, world's finest hooks. And Lurlock, turning the tackle world upside down. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. Going on that rod right there, Bill. Got it. I am way down there with this one. <laughs> you got doubled up. That's what we were asking for, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see yours is way up here now. Okay. It's a tenner. It's a tenner. I think. Wouldn't you say? I think that's a big tenner. All right, I'm going to... Woo! Woo! All right, I'm still out. Okay, you. Well, I don't think we got each other. No, I, I see my fish right here. What in the world? Big old tuna. He's way down there, brother. <laughs> Doing that death spin. Hey, Bill, can you grab me that gaff? You got a yeah, good fish. Right here. here you go. Thanks, bud. Big old fatties. Is it a tuna or bonita? Big old tuna. Oh, yeah. You gonna get him in? I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's stripped. Mine's got his second win now. He's gone. This is kicking our butt, huh? Woo wee! This one might be bigger than the last one. Really? Pull him up over the side of that boat. Wow, what a nice one. <laughs> How about that, Bill? Let's get yours right, in I here. gotta get this one. Many people do not realize there are several species of tuna. We'll mention just three of the most popular species to fishermen here to illustrate just how much tuna can vary in size. Here are the blue fin, the yellow fin, and the black fin. Throughout recorded history, Atlantic bluefin tuna have been highly prized as food fish. Their great size contributes to this and they're heavily targeted by the Japanese fish market for their popular dish, sushi. The bigger blue fins grow up to 1,000 pounds, and the world record weighed in at a whopping 1,496 pounds. The yellowfin tuna is among the larger tuna species too, but reaching weights of just over 400 pounds. They're a popular sport fish in many parts of their range and are prized for their speed and strength when fought on rod and reel. Many anglers believe that large yellowfin are pound for pound the fastest and strongest of all big game tunas. The largest on record weighed 445 pounds. Blackfin tuna fishing in Miami can be an awesome experience. They aren't as tough as their yellowfin or bluefin cousins, but they are still strong and fierce ocean predators. When they school up and feed aggressively, blackfins are also known for wild battles on light tackle. By comparison to blues and yellowfins, they can grow only to upwards of 30 pounds, but one of that size is still considered a great catch. The world record blackfin weighed just over 49 pounds. Fishing for them in Miami waters is often a challenge because they're a migratory species that never stay in one place for very long. Where we at, bud? Watch the line. There you go. How about that one, buddy? Woohoo! That's neat. 
That's not a bad one, is it? No, that's a good one. I got one over here, too. He's running me all over the all place. All right, I'm going to put this one on ice, okay? All right, let me come help you. All right. Woo! The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. How can I stop the line I've spooled from curling on my reels? Well, techniques vary from spooling the line. In fact, techniques differ between loading spinning and bait casting reels. The key to remember when spooling either one of these types of reels is to hold the spool line so that it will be retrieved on the reel much the same way it was stored on the original spool. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort, and Thin North, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning is provided by the Build and Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Recently, Gamakatsu asked me to test one of their new hooks called the Outbarb. I gave a few to my saltwater guide buddies who specialize in tarpon and snook, and I tried them on Big River Cats. You want a hook with the quickest and easiest penetration and offers extra holding power? We all discovered that the Gamakatsu outboard was harder to dislodge, held, and penetrated better and proved to be a great hook. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. Man, you guys, of course we're not all ready. We had an explosion like you couldn't believe it on the kite. Well, did you just get that one on the on the kite? This is on the kite, yeah. This was the top well, good. one. Good, I just got this one in. Very nice. Woo! -wee. <laughs> get you some, boys. That's it. You take this. Okay. And just hold them. Wait a minute. I gotta, he's going into the motor. Okay. Once I get that swivel, you just got to keep reeling though, just in case he takes off on me. What a fish. What a fish. Got him. Good deal. All right, look at that. Big old black fin tuna. That's some teamwork right there. It's caught three fish in five minutes. <laughs> Woo, what a fish. He missed it the first time. He came up and blew up on it again, Bill. Did he? Blowed up on it. Do what you can do. You, is everything okay back here? You need me to do anything? No, you're all right. It might be a bonita. You want this line, you want this spinning rod right out of the way? Oh, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna have to move that one. Look here, I got one on here. Or he, got in, or he got in there, one of the two. Go ahead and reel up on that. He might have got in that line. Oh, real did he? slow. Another big tuna fish. Is it? He's in it. He's in it. All right, just put that reel in free spool for me. Here's how we both catch a fish. All right, Bill, you want to grab me a gap close? Look at him out there on the water. Sorry. Where's the gaffer? Should be down below. Don't see it, don't see it, don't see it. Um. There it is. You want to take this rod from me for one second? Get all the fish underneath it, the little bait fish. Don't reel that one. Just okay. reel, keep on with this one. I got it. You know, this is, this is really something. 
Look at all that bait fish down there. Look, guess who caught it? <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, he cut through and caught that line. <laughs> Blackfin tuna. You know what gets me? I like, look, how those fins just fold right up their uniform. Look, flat to the body. See that? Like, shoom. That's where they get to fly. Speed, man. You know, I'll tell you something, Jimmy. This has been quite an experience. This is something you can do. And this is a guy that can make it happen. It's been fun, buddy. Thanks again. Good Thanks job again, out here. I'm George Emily, buddy. We'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Didn't we tell you earlier that these fish can fight like the Dickens? Their will to live is second to none, but that just makes fishing for them all the more fun. We'd like to thank Captain Jimmy Wicket for his expert guiding today. You simply can't find a better place to match wits with these mini torpedoes than Miami, Florida. Blackfin tuna will eat many different types of bait fish, but herring and pilchards like our fishermen use today are hard to beat. Give it a try at your first opportunity. It's something you're sure to enjoy. And please join us again right here next week for the next episode of Bill Dance Saltwater. Fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.